All right, so I'm pretty excited about this backend I just created for the um, turnip tracking app, uh, Island Tracker. So uh, this is a cool little dashboard that I put together of all the tools that I'm using to do this thing. So I have Postman over here that's gonna do all my posts, puts, gets, and deletes. I have an Azure function running up here. We can see right here running all my Azure functions. Uh, there are specifically, oh, how many we got here, seven or so. We have the ability to create a profile, update a profile, update turnip prices. Uh, we also have the ability to submit a friend request, uh, also to approve that friend request, get friend requests, and then of course get friends, which are all the statuses, uh, and then also to remove a friend too. Here over here, I have the uh, Azure Storage Explorer. So I have three tables in table storage user, friend request, and friend. So here's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna create two users. So here I'm going to go ahead and simply call create profile. I pass in uh, specifically here the private key into the token, a bearer token up top that'll get parsed out. Um, then I have a body, so some information about the user here, um, which is important. And then uh, that's it, really. Um, same thing for user tr two, except for I have user two over here. Same thing, different key. These are just GUIDs, so nothing really super duper private here. Um, so let's go ahead and create one. So I'll create user one. But no, no, no. If I go over to my user table, refresh. I have user one right here. Island information, name, status, specific, time zone, things like that. If I go to create user two, but no, no, no. And we've created user two in milliseconds. Over here, we have user two, James over here. We'll go ahead and update user one. So now we're in a put mode instead of a post mode. And same thing, so I still have my authorization header. I have my body. This time it's just information that I wanna update here, um, pass this along. So here I'm gonna update it to user one updated, hit send, hit refresh, and now we have user one updated right here, which is cool. Let's also update my turnip prices, so very similar, except for this is a different, um, JSON that I'm going to be passing. Again, this is a put. Um, I would have patched it actually, um, but um, HTTP client in net standard 2.0 does not have patch currently. So I just did a put. You can always update that later, I guess. So and send that over. But I don't know. Go over here, refresh. And now we can see that user one also has the prices inside of here, uh, PM price, buy price, and any other information that I put inside of here, which is cool. All right, so let's go ahead and submit the friend request. Okay, so I am user one, and I'm going to submit a friend request for user two to approve. Uh, here, I am again going to pass user one's uh, private key. And then here in the body for the submit friend request, there is a my public key and a friend public key. So I specifically am asking um, my friend to approve it over here. So let's go ahead and submit that. There we go. I'll go ahead now into my friend request table and we can see that over here, friend, user number two, needs to approve this friend over here. So I can use this new information to query information about the user. So here I'll say user two, um, let me go ahead and get my friend request. So the only thing I need to pass here is my public and private key uh, because the server can then validate that. So I tap that there um, here it can go off, it will query the friend request table and find information about user one or user two or anything, or any user three, I guess, if they were requesting it over here. So I see all the requester information. And again, we're just sending back and forth public keys. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is approve this. So I haven't done anything in here yet. Now, when we approve the friend, user two over here is going to approve that friend request over here. So again, I'm, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, the friend public key is gonna be user one's public key. And I know that because um, we can see it here in this friend request, it's right here, which is nice. Then over here in the my public key, it's just my public key. So what this will do is it will go ahead and create, um, it'll delete this friend request and insert two friend rows over here. So let's go ahead and do that, boop. All right, so friend request, gone because we've approved it and now we have what do you know two actual keys the reason we have two here and we have a um we have basically alternating partition key and row key 
And the reason I did this is for optimization of speed because both user one and user two are gonna need to request their friends. So they can say, give me all of my friends with partition key, blah. And um, then they'll get all the row keys back that they get because those are all unique. Okay, cool. So now we have a few little things over here. So now I can say user one get friends. So I'll go ahead and um, um, send this over. So here, I tested this earlier, but here's all I need to do is say, give me my friends. Boom, user two, specifically user two island, the information I need. Also their public key, so I could delete them if I wanted to. User two here is going to go ahead and send that same request off, but they're gonna get user one updated with user one's information. And then finally, we can actually remove all of everything basically besides the user. So here, if I wanna remove the friends, either user can remove the friend, um, which makes sense. So I'm always gonna send my public key, and then I'll also send the friend that I would like to delete. So here we can see the my public key is here and the row is over here. So let's go ahead and hit delete over here. This will go ahead and send it off. I'll go ahead and refresh. And now that friend is gone. There's no friend request, nothing is available. And boom, we have an entire friend system. We still have our user records inside of here, which we can see because we didn't delete our users, but everything is very, very nice indeed. We can thank Frank Kruger for creating this friend system. And I can thank my wife for telling me how to create RESTful services and how the heck to use table storage. Without these two individuals in my life, I don't think I would get anything done. So thank them much for helping us get this. And now it's time to integrate it into the mobile app.